Criticate! Hi, guys. Hi, welcome back to Dream Daddy. This Dream is going to be our third Daddy. recording session. Oh, uh, yeah. The reason why we do short recording sessions for this show, in case you're wondering, is because it destroys Cause our voices. <laughs> yeah, because we decided we, we want to do the voice thing. So, you know. <laughs> How do you do? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. I think I saw you in Dead Goth and Beyond the other day. Damien's face turns bright red. I... I must apologize for my behavior on that day. You see, I, I take the goth lifestyle very seriously. <laughs> and to be caught in a ruse by such a corporation as Dead Goth and Beyond is... was profound, profoundly frustrating indeed. What? The sentence, I take the goth lifestyle very seriously. Me too, dude. Stop making fun of my culture, dude. <laughs> oh, I hope me. you know that while my anger may have been justified, it was no such way for a gentleman to act. It's okay, man. Hmm. Do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes, my... What the fuck voice was that? My daughter and I just moved in the other day. She was the one I took to Dead Goth and Beyond. Very good taste on her part. Does... <laughs> She partake in the goth lifestyle. <laughs> this guy kills me. God damn it. I think for a second, I look over to Amanda, who's hanging out with some of the older kids in the neighborhood. Uh. What? Hey, Amanda, would you consider yourself goth? Amanda yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under any specific label, <laughs> but I guess if I had to choose one, I would describe myself more as twee hipster with some... Normcore leanings. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly that's how exactly I describe right. it. Yeah. Bats are cool, though. <laughs> I watch Stra Castlevania on Netflix. <laughs> ah, pity. Oh. Are you enjoying the party so far? Oh, definitely. Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. And potentially will fuck me. And then uh, slide back to the camera to, uh, to Brian, who's having a Pokemon <laughs> battle with half the neighborhood. <laughs> Manda walks up to the conversation. Oh. I also like The Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that, does that count as God? Oh, I don't uh, think so. That it would, my dear. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting Damien Bloodmarsh <laughs> at your service. <laughs> Tickles me. <laughs> Damien finishes the sentence with a flourish and a bow, Whoa. producing a single rose and offering it to Amanda. Huh. She's Amanda, 17. <laughs> Amanda blushes and returns the gesture with a curtsy. My, do you know how to treat a lady? Whoa. <laughs> Dying, man. Hello, Amanda. Wait, we get to no, speak no. at the same time. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twin kids appear. Uh, are they speaking in unison? Hey? Won't you come play with us? Hmm. Uh. Come play with us forever. Yeah. Guys, enough of the creepy twin, twin shtick. We've <laughs> talked about this. <laughs> Kristen and Christine slowly back away. Now that's goth as fuck. <laughs> Do you know where they got that from? Uh, Mary pops into the conversation, wine in hand. I remember the voice I did in the first episode because oh. I watched it. Sure. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Mary takes a long sip of wine. I think I might have taped over a VeggieTales VHS <laughs> with the shine. <laughs> Who knows? Mom of the year. She takes another sip of her wine. Uh. Where's Chris? Come on. Wasn't he with you? You still haven't found your fucking son? Every character on screen is me. <laughs> <laughs> you had him a moment ago. He's probably in stuffing dirt in his mouth. He'll be all right. Toddlers are pretty resilient. No, they're, no, they're not. not. <laughs> Mary tips her glass to me. Ah, ain't my first time to the rodeo. It's my fourth. <sighs> I have squeezed four little... Okay, all right. <laughs> Sweetheart... <laughs> Would you like to do me a favor and fuck off? <laughs> That'd be great. Oh my god. I'm sure he's fine. <sighs> Mary! <laughs> mm, okay. Jeez. Mary finishes her wine and wanders off. Uh, Who is this? Oh, uh, was this me? I, I genuinely oh, don't me, remember. Oh, Dad. 
Can we go now? Huh. Oh! Dude! <laughs> have I introduced you to Keith yet? Hey, it's that punk from Amanda's school. I remember you. Whatever. Huh. That's no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite. Lucian bows. What other, sir? Wow. The edge is strong in this family. <laughs> Lucian bows again. Mr. Christensen, may I have a veggie burger? Oh, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Come right up, boy! Are you a vegetarian? Yep. Uh. <laughs> Make that two veggie burgers. Did you know that some people in the Victorian lifestyle or era were vegetarians? They describe carnivorous type people as blood lappers. Dad. Oh. That's really interesting, Damien. <laughs> Joseph turns to the grill. Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve. I can't believe I didn't notice it before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. Whoa. Is that a tattoo? Hey. Yup. I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know. That's so cool. Uh, did we lose capture, Jacob? No, we didn't. Uh, sorry, something happened to our screen. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Want to see mine? What? Lucian pulls back some rubber bla bracelets, revealing a lopsided 666 in black ink. <laughs> My buddy gave me a stick and poke tattoo last week. I think it's healing up pretty good. Oh, gross. Lucian. Oh, no. We're going to talk about this later. Oh. Hmm. That's pretty cool. What's the significance of the tattoo? <laughs> There's none. He just likes 666. Six, six. I just thought it looked sick. Oh, gross. Uh. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful, though. That number carries weight. <laughs> Man, Joseph is way a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I just figured youth pastors popped out of the womb with a Bible. I wonder what he did before preaching. He popped out, <laughs> he pop he popped out of the womb with two Bibles. <laughs> uh, oh, we can go back. We didn't have these options before. Uh, so do you want to pursue Matt, Hugo, and Craig still? Or do you want to move on to oh, yeah. Robert and Brian? So what I say is save the game right now just in case if we go back to Matt, Hugo, and Craig. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. It's the same conversation. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a save file. All right. So. Yeah, let's click it. Matt, Hugo, Craig. Okay. Uh, Matt Hugo, Matt and Hugo seem to be embroiled in an intense discussion. Craig looks on, smiling politely. I walk over to say hello. Yeah, okay, Wait, yeah, we this did is the same this conversation. Yeah, yeah, I told you. That's why I told you to save. Okay. All right, load it up. See? See, I'm I smart. <laughs> See how smart I am? Yeah. You guys are heading over to Robert and Brian. Robert and Brian. That's sick. These are your characters. <laughs> I walk over to Robert and Brian, who are chatting over drinks, determined not to be weird about what happened that night. I hope Robert feels the same. Hey, guys, gays, uh, guys. <laughs> I was fucking drinking, dude. Keith! Oh, God, I lost his voice. How the heck are you? That's Got the it. voice. Settling into the neighborhood, all right? You always do this. <laughs> well, because I lose it for a second, and then I get it back. <laughs> oh, you betcha. Got the living room in order last night. That's great to hear. I've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got the 50 in there. The game looks great in high def. 50 oh, inch. great. The TV. He's 50 inches too? Yeah. <laughs> God, this guy's perfect. God, he's better than me in every that's way. Not, that's not even his, his dad bod. That's just his coiled up penis. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Keith, have you met Robert yet? Yes, I believe we met. Briefly, we fucked. <laughs> hey. Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Robert robotically extends a hand. I shake it as he stares unblinkingly into my eyes. Oh, God. What does it mean? Huh. How's it going? It's good. Robert focuses on the whiskey he's holding. He takes a long sip. Great! Look at my friends becoming friends! Us dads gotta stick together, you know? Us dads? Robert has a kid? Oh, I, I didn't know you had kids. Oh. Robert continues to stare at me. Jesus, does this guy ever blink? I don't know. Did he blink during sex? <laughs> <laughs> yep. God, I bet that voice tears C you up. Cool. <laughs> Sometimes. That's cool. <laughs> we stand in incredibly uncomfortable silence for several moments until... Oh, that's you. Uh, oh, is that his shitty daughter? Yeah. 
we got to get off this haunted truck. <laughs> oh, no. The ghost locked the doors. <laughs> Daisy and Amanda run up to us. Thank God. All right. Quick, hit the emergency escape button. The truck still have emergency escape buttons. <laughs> I'm turning, him sl- turning her slowly into Stitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then hit the brake, I guess. And then we'll get out of the truck. Uh. And if you want to figure out if they get out of the <laughs> truck or not, you're going to have to watch the next episode. Yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe to get off the truck. Subscribe. <laughs>